Welcome back to another episode of Hotel California. And here we are, we're going back to our series of awesomeness where I think it's this one. I'm going to delete this one. This was the one you guys didn't get to see, so you guys never get to see it again. Delete, yes. Delete. Delete. There we go. Alright, so let's actually start our game up again. So these are the end of the times, yada yada yada. I'll, I'll just stop recording right now so we can skip through this. Okay, so we're back in the little motor home of our existence where... As we know from last time, James Miller was feeling kind of lonely and sad about, you know, he know that, you know, his life in his, his old life with his old friends is kind of gone, you know. He knows that, um, what he, where he used to live and where he used to be is now over with. He kind of knows that this is a new reality he kind of has to face and, you know, just a new a new kind of environment. This is def he's definitely not used to the rain, he's definitely not used to this, the neighbors, and he's definitely not used to the kind of lifestyle he's gonna have to live now. In fact, you could say he's a bit of aloof with this whole entire new area, so, you know, he's just gonna wait here for a couple of minutes, waiting for the, waiting for the afternoon, and you know, he gets, he gets slightly bit hungry around, around this time, you know, you know, people get hungry, people have to eat, you know, he decides to eat unhealthy today because, you know, that's just the kind of person he is, and, you know, he hears, he hears bells all the time, signifying that, you know, there might be some, there might be some new people he might be able to meet today, so, he goes outside, casually just walking around, just, just, you know, relaxing, you know, he starts to make his way upwards, kind of remembering that there is some place called the Motel, the Motel, and he remembers specifically it's called Motel California. Now, he has no idea why they call it Motel California, but he just remembers that name, so... You know, he thinks that would be a good idea. Um, but before that, he definitely want to make sure that he checks out all the neighbors and make sure they all know about him before he leaves. Because, you know, it'd just be rude if you just abandon and do not see any of your neighbors before this point. So he just... He's just casually walking around, walking around the house, trying to make sure that his neighbor's house is accessible to lightning strikes to make sure that there are no lightning strikes in the area and to make sure that we have all this so and monotone for a second all right that is come on open door open door i don't want to get wet open door oh, i hate you what about this door what about this door come on come on i'm getting i could get cold thank you Whew. oh if i almost said i was gonna like get a cold there that'd be really bad and another school bag yes Ah, uh, man, this guy, this guy is having really good luck. He does not know, he does not know what is happening to him. I mean, he does not know how lucky he's getting. Pencil, okay, now he's not getting lucky anymore. Should not have tempted fate. Never tempt fate. Should not, yeah, so it seems like we're not getting much. Uh, we do have a, ah! <sighs> okay, there's a zombie in the bathroom. Okay, so apparently You better die. Alright, so apparently some of the local neighbors were chilling out in the bathroom. Don't understand why. And there was nothing in here. Wow, I just I just risked myself for nothing. Alright, apparently I have to fill up again. Fill up the bowl, drink drink some water. I'm still wet, but oh, that was intense. Okay, I'm going to eat some pie because this pie is going to expire, so I might I might as well eat it cuz I'm going to be I'm going to be the only one. So Oh yeah, we probably should move this school bag out here. I better make sure all the school bags are out here to make sure they're not like in some other sort of bag. So yeah, this is going to be my survival. Actually, I'm going to move my survivalist, my last stand bag to right here. Um what else? Is this is going to let's start let's start let's see let's see let's start organizing this is gonna be like my future house building stuff um this right here should just solidly be food items a food items of sorts in fact I better drink this I'm not I'm not sure if I'm a good drinker yes monotone time and yes we James Miller is drinking his first glass of whiskey it tastes quite good in this new environment of sorts you know he would never have gotten into this kind of Thing, but you know he was tempted you know tempted by the local by the local delicacy of the wine 
or the beer, or whatever you call it. He was very much tempted, and you know what? It actually tasted pretty good by what he said. So, and apparently I dropped it. Uh, and monotone. So yeah, apparently I dropped the glass. Uh, I don't know where the heck it just went. That's really weird. Like, that's really weird. Oh, there it is. There we go. Because I'm going to use that as my, uh, use the toilet. <laughs> fill up empty bottle. Uh, thank you, toilet. You are a very good help for me. Okay, so I'm going to fill, going to put the bowl in here. Because that's definitely a food item. And what else do we need? We can put the frying pan into our tote bag. I'll put the tote bag as weapons and accessories. Alright, yeah, we're getting this all organized. Alright, and we've already looted this place, so let's get out of here. Ah, okay, so now we're going to start heading up more. We're definitely going to have to go more leftish, rightish-ish, ish-ish place. Yeah, ish-ish is a really good term. Okay, so we have a big gigantic... We have a friendly neighbor here who has red hair, so he must naturally die, because they have no souls. Gingers have no souls. Let's see. Die! Why is my guy so... There we go. Okay, so we have another neighbor coming to meet us. Hello. He's really bad at killing neighbors. There we go. So let's see, the walkers are now dead. Uh, we got a vest, nothing important. So let's see, is there anything in here? Oh man, I did not, okay. I'm not gonna be, hmm. I'm definitely not going in the bathroom again. That was a stupid idea. So let me just sneak around here to make sure there's no other zombies. Yeah, there's no other zombies. Okay. So let's just go inside the window. Where's the window? Right here. Okay. Oh, open. Open. Open sesame? No, wait. That's actually a bad idea because it won't actually open from that side. Past experience, guys. Past experience. That, w that table right there will freeze up and make us stay there. So I will not do that. What instead I'll do is just open up, pop this door open right here. And is that window glitched? Oh, Shyster. Okay, so obviously the zombies are starting to head towards us. I'm just going to charge my attack back here. And wait for it. Boom. Okay, no one else heading towards us. Let me make sure nothing on him. Okay. Alright, well let's get in here. Come on. Let's get in. Come on. Over Nelly. Overexposed beneath the sun. I'm so glad they don't have that noodle working yet. That is such a good idea. Oh, yeah. I mean, not a good idea. It's such a good thing for us right now. It's a good thing they don't actually... Oh, I become thirsty faster. That's why. That's why I'm having to drink so much water. It's because I'm becoming thirsty so fast. Oh, that makes sense, too. Why did I not think of that? Okay, so let's get... What's ever in here? Okay, we got a new can opener. I don't really need it. I need a chip, so... Chips are a pretty good idea. I said move it to the... I uh, didn't move it to the bag, did it? Man, that doesn't make any sense. Let's see, is this over encumbered? No. Then what did I add to this? Hmm. School bag. Hmm. That's weird. I don't know what I added to this to make me over encumbered, but I'm going to have to deal with that in a second. So I got all this other good stuff right here. I wish I could be grabbing it, but... Mm, I have to wait until I get to the motel. Okay, yeah, this is really going to be too slow. Alright, let's take off our shoes. Let's pack our shoes into our survival list bag. Okay, still not enough? What the heck am I carrying? That's... Okay, I have this equipped. Maybe what I could do is... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Equip one of these as... Wait, equip this as second... Unequip. Equip this as secondary. Equip that as secondary, and then equip this as primary. Yes, there we go. Okay, figured it out, guys. Figured it out. He didn't have it. What was happening is that he didn't really... He was carrying everything by arm, and so he didn't really have it. I'm just going to kill this guy right here. Just because I can. Okay. Let's go. Okay, so let's start heading back over to the mo... To the, not the mo... To the motel. Yes, actually the motel is the area I want to go to. And let's just keep looting on the way. You know, our friend over here is just seeing, you know, a big gigantic crowd. You know, he casually just goes up to them and, you know, decides that he's not really a people's person. So he just casually, you know, makes sure none of them sees him. But he obviously attracts some tensions and so they obviously all come to greet him. And he's like, no, I really don't like that. So he just starts keep walking. He just keeps walking on. 
you know, really not wanting to be a part of the crowd, but, you know, it kind of has to be, you know, it's just, just one of those things. People are really kind in Motog, just really, really kind, to the point of suffocation, and, you know, I would say that they are almost, there's two, I think, in here, four, there's a family, six, never mind, that is way too many. I can maybe deal with two or three and maybe four, but six, that's just way too much. Okay, so we're just going to keep walking down here. We're pretty close to the beginnings of towns. I know where we are. Okay, I got attention of this guy. I know that. Got this. Okay, I got another guy coming after me over here. Man, people are just being so friendly today. Ah! Die! 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 No! Just keep moving back! Keep moving back! Run! <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm obviously... Oh, I'm peckish, that's why. You can't knock it out while I'm still peckish. Are you really tired? Really? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Okay. Okay, those zombies may have just broken out of the house. Okay, let me just do this. Well, I thought that was that guy. Okay, so let's just do this. Okay, that's not gonna work. I already know that's not gonna work. Let's just get away. Get a good distance away. Wait for my high exertion to just go over to exertion. Actually, you could still fight him even if you do have a high exertion. And... There we go. They're all dead. Okay. Now let's check in here. I'm just gonna go into this guy's garage. And casually check to see if there's anything of value. Sneakily, sneak, sneaky, 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 sneaky. I'm gonna check into this guy's garage. Okay, we're inside. Let's see if there's anything of value in here. Hopefully there is. <gasps> hallelujah! 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 Hallelujah. And with that, I can actually lose this. Because I'm going to actually... With that, I can actually lose this. Because you don't need that many. Okay, so yeah, we can lose the plastic bag drop. And I can actually start doing a little bit more stuff. But oh my goodness, that is so off. <gasps> Hallelujah. <laughs> oh man, today is just a good day. Like, we're having... Oh wait, that's our survivalist bag. So we actually need to move it to the tote bag. That's the bag we need to move it to. Yeah, we're just... We actually have a decent amount of stuff right now. Okay, so let me move this. Oh, man. Yeah, let's just do a quick, like, inventory makeup stuff. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move all the food that we have, which isn't very much. I know that. Okay, let's just... Okay, let's just... All right, let's just move all of this. Is it like this? Alright, since so they're going to have to do this one at a time. Alright, but yeah, we're going to move all the food over here. And we're basically going to just... Uh... Transfer. Transfer weight into the other bag. And that way this can be our, like, building up bag. This will replace our building up bag. And right now we're over in Covenant. But when we, put, when we equip the duffel bag at second day... There we go. We're back to being on weight. Alright, let's go. Let's check out this house right here. I want to get inside to see if there's anything of value. And actually, this is a good time to end the episode. So, thank you guys for watching. And come back to when we actually reach Motel California. So, see you guys then.